So I just did something trying to get one result and ended up getting a completely different result. Uh, so what else is new? But uh, anyhow, I'm working on these end tables for a friend of mine and they've got these huge cracks in them. And uh, I've been trying to come up with a cheap way to fill those in. Um, I'm going to end up putting Bondo in there and then right where it meets the surface, uh, use a clear adhesive of some sort with some colorant mixed in and my colorant will be this uh, acrylic paint anyhow uh, i was just testing out wood glue and the acrylic paint and it made a very thick slime and uh, then i was like well maybe i'll add baking soda to it to make it harden faster uh, like how baking soda and CA glues harden things very fast. But uh, I got a completely unexpected result. So this was everything that I had in this container. And uh, like it did this reaction almost immediately. It like I, I broke some of it off and it looks like foam. But... Uh, well, it, it behaves like foam, too. If you squeeze it, you'll get some of the moisture out. See, you can see it on my fingers there. Uh, but, anyhow, because I'm me, and I'm, I'm very strange, I decided to smell it, and it smells just like Flarp, uh, that uh, gummy toy that everyone used to have when I was younger. Anyhow... So then I got curious, and uh, this was still in the container here, and I was like, well, if it's just like Flarp, then, well, if it behaves similar to Flarp, and if it smells like Flarp, then it must be Flarp. Uh, and so I reached in there, and I pulled it out, and uh, it didn't stick to my hands uh, too terribly, and when it did, all I had to do was re-squish it in my hands here, and it peeled it off of my skin. But anyhow, so I think that that's cool. You know, I made Flarp. Uh, it's an accidental science experiment. But um, so before I uh, test anything out on the actual end tables themselves, I want to do this test of each type of glue that I come up with. Oh. And uh, I was thinking, well, um, I'll try wood glue. I'll try, uh, where'd that go? Oh, I'm going to try construction adhesive. Uh, and I'm going to try the, the Bondo, the CA glue, the epoxy. Uh, see whichever one works. This um, might work too, but I think that adding a colorant to this would make it not stick. But anyhow, I, I looked up videos on epoxy, and uh, they said that you can add colorant, and colorant uh, can be powder or uh, paint form. So that's what I'm going to try. Also, because I'm a redneck, so um, like Ace has these containers but they're huge and as you can see I don't have a whole lot of epoxy here so I was looking for something skinnier with measurements on the side and because I'm a redneck uh, I came up with this uh, <laughs> this is the uh, the bottle that the gear oil comes in for my truck so anyhow, it's got ounces on one side, milliliters on the other side. It's got that clear line so I can see how full it is. And all I had to do was clean them out and cut off the top. So still kind of smells like gear oil. But also the epoxy things that I saw said that uh, some people use epoxy, well, use oil in epoxy for gear, well, for mold release. Sorry, I can't talk today. For mold release and anyhow uh, 
it still hardens the same. So I figure if there's any residual uh, residual residue, that's a little redundant, but uh, residual residue in there uh, that it it won't affect the quality of the uh, the glue itself. I mean, like epoxy is just glue, so. But anyhow, so this was me testing out the this paste stuff, um, and I I haven't mixed this uh, baking soda into the glue. I just put it along the top, so in case anything uh, creep down into this second cut, that it wouldn't stick to the inside of there, because I want to test a different glue inside of that cut. A different glue in this cut, a different glue in this cut, a different, you know, you get the gist. Anyhow, but, um, I was thinking I might even still be able to use this sort of stuff. Not this, because it's already drying out. But, um, like here, you know, I, I cut through on this, you know, because I wanted to see, um how well it would do in this you know see it's it's a crack on both sides you know I when I glue up this if I pour glue into this it'll seep through here so I wanted to experiment with uh, my glues in the way that I'll be applying them so anyhow I'm rambling I apologize but um, what I'm going to well, what I'm thinking I'll use this for is because it doesn't stick to anything. I can just shove it down in the crack and use it as a stopper to keep the glue from flowing out. And then when the glue is hardened in here, then I can just pry this out, you know. So, uh, yeah. Anyhow, I, I just think that this is kind of a fun thing that I've just done on accident but uh yeah anyhow thanks for looking god bless